so I think I found the fastest way on the web to actually create uh, analytics dashboards or data apps using natural language, uh, which also gives you access to the Python code in case you wanna change the different Plotly graphs that you see here or the, the visualizations or the table. With Plotly Studio, all you really need is about three minutes, maybe even two minutes, and you can actually build your data app. So let me show you how you actually do this. Once uh, you have your uh, Plotly Studio application downloaded to your computer, here I'm using Windows, just drag the data set that you're interested in right here, and then click Next. And then you can, you can ask it a specific question um, or something that interests you in the data set, or you can just click Skip. I'm gonna click Skip because I'm not really sure what this, what I wanna find out here or what this data is telling me. So I'm gonna let Plotly AI do its thing and try to come up with an outline of what it thinks is the best type of graphs and, and visualizations to help me better understand my data. Okay, so you can see here, this took about uh, a minute and um, Plotly is telling us the six type of graphs that it thinks uh, would uh, give us uh, a good understanding of what this um, data is telling us and some insights. So we're gonna click, we can change something here if we don't, we're not happy with it, we can remove it um, here in the, not in the global filters, but here in the charts. Um, but let's generate the application. This takes about uh, two minutes and what Plotly is doing here, it's building separate modules for each card or each graph and, and data table that it's building. So here you see it's going to build um, one, two, three, the six charts it told us. And uh, the first chart is going to be renewable energy generation, uh, line chart, and so on and so on and so on. So let's let Plotly uh, build this and we'll come back as soon as it's ready, as soon as it's ready in about two minutes. All right, folks, so we have our uh, data app here. Took about two, a little bit less than two minutes to generate. We have our controls here that we can close or we can play around with to change the area type or the energy va uh, variable and so on and so on. We have some summary cards and then we have the graphs that uh, Plotly said it was going to generate. The renewable energy graph, the power sector emission country, and so on. This is a beautiful graph, actually. I really like this, the clean energy percentage, um, and so on and so on. Now, let's say there's a visualization or a certain card. Here is the AG grid, dash AG grid, that you're not too happy with or you wanna, you wanna, wanna change. Um, you can do that in these modules here. So look at this. Here we have, we can choose country, uh, and change and see the different, uh, from all the variables, cheat, uh, see the year over year change in, in as a heat map, right? In the different fossil fuels in Austria, gas, um, coal, clean energy, and so on and so on. But this could get ugly if we have all countries. Like this could get like a really, really long uh, visualization if we allow it to choose all countries. So we're gonna go to year over year over change right here. This is the heat map electricity, uh, not demand, the year over year change. And we'll see um, that we have the code, right? That we can actually change if we know what we're doing. We can go into the dropdown and just change the dropdown directly and say, I don't want the all con countries option. I just want um, a single select uh, dropdown with um, one country at a time with no option for all countries. So I'm gonna do that here, right? Here we have the specification. It tells us this is what it built from our prompt right here. So what we can really change, we can try to update the code, but it's usually better to try and um, uh, update the outline right here. A year over year percentage change as a heat map with drop downs for variable selections and country filtering. All European countries uh, do not do not include the option for all countries in the dropdown. All right, we're gonna do that. We can see the, the uh, preview here, um, but we actually didn't save it. We gotta click this to submit changes. And now it's going to uh, rebuild the, uh, the code and the specification based on our um, prompt here 
and we should also be able to see a preview of this um, new build. All right, there we go. It rebuilt it. Now we'll go back to the app summary up here to the top left. And we should see the new, the new heat map in the uh, data app that we built a couple of minutes ago. Okay, and there we go. Uh, Austria, Belgium, and there's no option for all countries. So it's never going to get too, um, too crazy with um, uh, the visualization of many countries at the same time. So there you have it. Um, to get started, all you really need to do is uh, go to the link under the video and it will take you to this page and just um, open uh, an account here on Plotly Cloud, uh, download it for either Mac or uh, Windows, and that's it. The first page that you should see once you download it is this page right here, right? But you will have access to your projects once you're done with them and all you need to do to actually share them with others is click publish here in the top right and this will take you to your Plotly Cloud where you can publish and share your apps. Now, I'm also going to add these apps that uh, I built a couple of uh, weeks ago so you can check them out under the uh, video as well. The last thing I wanted to say is that I really recommend that you do this right now because for a limited time, I think for the next few weeks or so, this is uh, completely free. Um, the usage of, of uh, Plotly Studio and Plotly Cloud. Even later there will be a free tier, but now it's a pretty generous, um, generous usage. So definitely take advantage of it. Go to uh, this link and, um, and have fun. And, and show me, show me under, under the video the stuff that you build. I'd love to see uh, what uh, the capabilities are. All right, everyone. Always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Until the next time.